So, just to be clear, I'm a massive, die-hard Dragon Ball Z fan. Yes, Dragon Ball Super and the original Dragon Ball and even GT to a certain extent. I'm just a massive fan of this whole franchise. I have multiple workout shirts with Goku on them. So, that said, I say this with love. I didn't like Resurrection F. Now, it's weird because of the last four films from 2015 onward. Battle of Gods, great. Resurrection F, pfft. Dragon Ball Super Broly, awesome. Dragon Ball Super Superhero, honestly, didn't like it at first. It's grown on me. That said, though, Resurrection F, I think, unfortunately, could have done more. It was weird because we had one really, really great battle sequence with the Z Fighters versus the Frieza Force. But then we had Super Saiyan Blue Goku just handing Golden Frieza his shit. We had Vegeta, who could have gotten a win, who had his win stolen. He never fought Frieza in a fair one-on-one -on -one fight, but I'll leave that for later. Also, it feels like there's no tension because Beerus is right, so uh, I just I didn't like Resurrection F. That said, I think there's a better story that could have been told that could have rebuilt a character that most of us love, Gohan. See, a little history lesson. Post Cell, Gohan was meant to be the main character of Dragon Ball Z. He was meant to be, you know, the new figurehead after Goku passed away. However, Toriyama, either he got cold feet, sales, whatever happened, he just decided to go back to Goku. As far as I'm aware, the reason being is because he felt like Gohan becoming a fighter and the defender of Earth taking Goku's position just didn't really jive with his character, which I understand, but you're the author. You can mend that, you can change that, you can twist it into what you want. So, that said, what if we use this film to rebuild our favorite Saiyan son, Gohan? Now let me be very clear, in this film from the very beginning, there will be no Goku, no Vegeta, no Whis, and no Beerus. Now, the opening of the film goes as the original one did. Frieza is brought back and attacks Earth, but he wants to kill Goku and Vegeta. That, those are his targets. Now, once again, the Z Fighters all team up like before, but Gohan is the one to suggest only them. He, Goten, and Trunks should be able to handle it, along with Krillin, Joke, Jokin? Jokin. This dude. Uh, Tien and Master Roshi. When confronted, why, why don't you want to call our dads? Well, what's wrong? And that's when Gohan says, after Cell, guarding the planet was his job, but he failed. It took his father and the Universal Spirit Bomb to kill Boo. But Gohan says if he had just kept training, we hadn't stopped, maybe he could have handled it. Goten responds, but we got Dad back because of it. And that's when Gohan says, I know, and I don't regret that part, but Dad and Vegeta won't be around forever. We need to be able to take care of ourselves. We need to be able to handle these things. The three of us, looking at Trunks and Goten. He tells them it's up to us. Also, real quick note, Goten and Trunks are noticeably a little older. They're around the ages of like 11 and 12. They should look like Team Gohan around this point. So right now, it's Gohan, Goten, Trunks, Piccolo, Krillin, Tien, and Master Roshi versus the Goon Squad. Now, in the build-up leading to the whole goon fight, I do want a bit of character development to happen. I want Trunks to have a bit of an inferiority complex. He wants to do more. He wants to build himself up. He doesn't just want to be Goten's partner. He doesn't just want to be Vegeta's son. He wants to live up to the legend that was created. After all, future Trunks was a brave warrior who risked it all just to help another universe. What has he done? On the other side of the coin, Goten remarks, He's never really had the chance to train with his dad very much. He's spent time with them, but nothing like what Gohan and Goku went through when it came to Cell. And he's a bit jealous of that. He's not sure if he has the courage to live up to that. Because even when they faced Boo, he did it with Trunks. He's never had to risk himself. It's at this point that Frieza gets serious. I can't decide who I want to kill first. The son of the Saiyan who humiliated me. The one who looks like he killed me or the brat who started it all. And throughout the entire battle, when it's Frieza versus Goten, Gohan, and Trunks, he keeps saying, call them, call Goku, call Vegeta. I want them here, I wanna kill them. He's able to overpower everyone, including Piccolo. That's when Gohan beefs up to Mystic Gohan. But at this point, when you think it's gonna be a struggle, no. Frieza turns into golden form, wrecking Gohan all the way. It's at this point that Gotenks now makes an appearance. Teenage Gotenks makes an appearance. 
He goes Super Saiyan 3, but once again, Frieza's golden form is, over to is able to overpower him. At this point, he smacks Gotenks down, unfusing the boys, leaving Piccolo and Gohan to catch each of them as they fall down to the earth. Trunks tries to rush Frieza all by himself, but to no avail. He gets knocked down and knocked out. He decides to try and kill Trunks, but Goten jumps in the way, taking the blast, much like the way Gohan took the blast for Vegeta against Cell. <laughs> Goten is down and out. Gohan becomes enraged and then goes Super Saiyan 3. And it's at this point that we get a battle for the ages. Super Saiyan 3 Gohan versus Golden Frieza. Gohan is just barely able to defeat Frieza, but he doesn't kill him. He tells Frieza, I will honor my father's wishes. Leave or die. It's up to you. Frieza attempts to fight one more time, but Gohan uses the special beam cannon to kill Frieza. Special beam cannon! After the credits, it's revealed that Goku and Vegeta were watching the entire time, as were Whis and Beerus. See, I told you guys they could handle it. Vegeta responds, it was a little too close, even for my taste. And that's when Goku says, remember, Gohan's the strongest of all of us. And that's when Beerus kind of says under his breath, just out of sight from everyone, the strongest you say. <laughs> 